since moving into the new shop, you know, things are getting out of control as far as mess. And I have no place to put things. You notice, like, my apron is laying around. I have no place to put my safety glasses. I even throw in my coat. I have no place to hang it. So I'm going to fix that right now. We're going to make a, uh, basically a shaker peg shelf to, uh, to take care of the problem. Once it's built, I'm going to hang this near the front door. This way I have a place to put my coat when I walk in, put my apron on, grab my safety glasses, and get to work. Here I'm adding some iron-on veneer to the edges of the plywood pieces that I just cut for the shelf. After the veneer cools, I take a chisel to square the ends. Now some people use a pair of side cutters for this. This is the way I've always done it. It's my preferred method, so that's the way I'm going to continue to do it. And once I'm done chopping the ends, I will use the tool to trim the excess on the sides. Now I'm striking a line where I want the shaker pegs to go. At that point I'm going to mark exactly where they are. The average for this piece is every 3.1 inches. Since the drill press isn't in the shop yet, I am going to just use a hand drill to, to cut, cut these holes. Just going to drill through with a board underneath to catch the, uh, the tear out. Once I'm done cutting the holes for the pegs, I'm going to use the dowel max to put the dowels in that are going to hold the shelf. First I'm doing the, the actual face, and then I'll come over and do the edge of the, of the shelf itself. After a quick change over the jig, just changing its, the, the way it's oriented, we'll do the edge of the shelf now. I think we're going to average four to five dowels to hold this on, which should be plenty. Now a little light sanding, and we will glue it together. I'm using very little glue on the ends of these pegs to push it in. Um, it was so tight I probably could have got away with not using any glue at all. And now we're going to put some glue and install the dowels, and we will then add the shelf. Now for this, we're going to put a little... Uh, Bush oil on this. This is very easy to use. Just you know, wipe it on, flood it on the surface, let it sit for a few minutes, and wipe it off. One coat's fine. Once it sits up for a little while, just take a clean rag and wipe it off, and it's that simple. Make sure when you don't your rags, lay them out flat, because this does contain oil and it could spontaneously combust. There's even a warning on the can. And there it is. All right, to hang this up, I'm just gonna basically position it about where I want it, run one screw. If that's tight, I'm gonna put a level on the shelf. I'm gonna level it and screw the other side. I'm not gonna measure or anything like that, just, just, just an approximation.
Well, that's about it. So I'm going to hang my aprons on here. I'm going to put my temperature and humidity detector on it. A couple of remotes for the air, air cleaners, the hearing protection, and my safety glasses. And that's going to do it, guys. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. And we will see you on the next video.